Water flows from high land to low land. Flow of the river is determined by elevation and topography mainly. Use the following methods to identify the direction of rivers. Identifying the direction of the river by observing the angle of meeting of the tributaries. Identifying the direction by finding the elevation of the land. Do it by observing the contours, benchmarks, spot heights, surveyed trees or triangulated heights that are located close to the river. Identifying the direction by seeing the shape of the islands, pattern of bank cutting of the river, meander or the size of the river. We can find the direction of the river in two different ways mainly. In the first method, we should find the slope of the land. We can find the slope of the land and uh, the altitude of the place by seeing five features mainly. They are contours, sport heights, triangulated heights, benchmarks and surveyed trees. These things can be used for identifying the altitude of the places. Remember, you should consider only the sport heights and triangulated heights that are very close to the river. In this class, we can learn about uh, finding the direction of the river by seeing the angle of meeting of the rivers. I recommend this method because the possibilities of uh, errors and mistakes are very less. So you can try this method for finding the direction of the river. Let us learn the concept now. Observe the angle of meeting of the streams. In this case river flows from north towards south. Angle of meeting of the streams indicates south direction here. Let us see the second example. Streams meet the main river in the north direction. So, the direction of the river is north. What is the direction of the river here? Tributaries meet the main river in the east direction. So, the direction of the river is east. In the last case, streams flow towards the west direction. I hope, you are ready to practice some examples from the topographical maps. Black and blue colors are used to show rivers, streams and other water bodies in topographical maps. Blue color represent the area of the water body perennial throughout the year. Seasonal part of the rivers is shown with black color. Let us practice some examples for learning the concepts. What is the direction of the Sukhli Nadi in the given map extract? When we observe the angle of meeting of the streams here, it is very clear that the Sukhli Nadi is flowing towards northwest direction. Next, what is the direction of the Belra Nadi in the given map extract? Here, the angle of meeting of the streams indicate the northwest direction. Next, what is the direction of the Karya Nadi in the given map extract? Angle of meeting of the streams indicate southeast direction. Moreover, contours in the northwest direction is also indicate a highland in the northwest direction. So, the river is flowing from northwest direction towards the southeast direction and it is joining with the main river Benas. What is the direction of the Sarot Nala here? Large number of tributaries that are joining towards the Sarot Nala is making our identification very easy. The Sarot Nala is flowing towards the southwest direction. What is the direction of the Hanwa Nala in this map extract? Contours that are found in the northwest direction and the southeast direction help us to identify the direction of the river. Moreover, sport heights are decreasing towards the southwest direction. But one thing, but the triangular height of 225 in the middle is creating a little confusion in our mind. But when we observe the angle of meeting of the tributaries, it is very clear that streams are meeting towards the southwest direction. So the stream is flowing towards the southwest direction. What is the direction of the streams in the southern part of the map extract? Large number of contours in the northern part of the map extract 
indicate a highland in the northern part. So, the water flows from north towards south. Moreover, the angle of meeting of the streams in this map extract indicate general direction of the river towards south. Are you ready to practice some difficult questions? What is the direction of the main river which is found in the western side of the map extract? Here, river is flowing towards the south direction. Let us see the last question with the, the highest difficulty. What is the direction of the Varka Nadi here? Are you confused with the bends of the river in the middle? Just ignore the bends of the river in the middle. Try to connect the beginning of the river with the end of the river with a straight line. Then we are with only one question whether the river is flowing towards west or towards the east. Angle of meeting of the streams clearly shows the direction west. Let us revise. Use triangulated heights, spot heights, contours, surveyed tree and benchmarks for identifying the slope of the land, if required. Learn only 8 cardinal directions for the ICSE examinations, should not learn 16 directions. Connect the beginning point of the river with the end point of the river when you get confusion due to the bends of the river. For the questions that ask reason, you can write this angle of meeting of the streams as a proof. For example, what is the direction of the river Sipu? Give a reason in support of your answer. Answer, Southwest. Evidence streams are meeting the main river in southwest direction. Subscribe our channel to know about the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.